Vega Italian Vettori Europeo di Generazione Avanzetta, meaning Advanced Generation European Carrier Rocket, is an expendable launch system in use by Arian Space, jointly developed by the Italian Space Agency and the European Space Agency. Development began in 1998, and the first launch took place from the Guiana Space Center on the 13th of February 2012. It is designed to launch small payloads. 300 to 2,500 kg satellites for scientific and Earth observation missions to polar and low Earth orbits. The reference Vega mission is a polar orbit bringing a spacecraft of 1,500 kg to an altitude of 700 km. The rocket, named after Vega, the brightest star in the constellation Lyra, is a single-body launcher no strap -on boosters with three solid rocket stages, the P-80 first stage, the Zephyro 23 second stage, and the Zephyro 9 third stage. The upper module is a liquid rocket called AVUM. The improved version of the P-80 stage, the P-120C, will be used as the side boosters of the Ariane 6. Italy is the leading contributor to the Vega program 65%, followed by France 13%. Other participants include Spain, Belgium, the Netherlands, Switzerland and Sweden. Topic. Development Topic. Background During the mid-1990s, French firms Aerospatia and September, along with Italian firm Bombrini Parity Dolfino BPD, commenced discussions on the development of a proposed Ariane complementary launcher ACL. Around the same time, Italy began to champion the concept of a new solid propellant satellite launcher. This proposed launcher, dubbed Vega, was promoted as functioning to expand the range of European launch capabilities. Vega would be capable of launching a 1,000 kg payload capability into a 700 km polar orbit. From the onset, the first of three stages would be based on the solid booster of the existing Ariane 5 expendable launch system, while the second and third stages would be make use of the in development Zephyro rocket motor. However, it was recognized to be a costly project and thus difficult for Italy alone to finance. Accordingly, international partners were sought early on in order to proceed with development. In April 1998, it was publicly stated that the Vega program was dependent upon the securing of roughly ECU 70 million of industrial investment, as well as the availability of around ECU 350 million of funding that had been requested from interested member states of the European Space Agency (ESA), led by France and Italy. During June 1998, it was announced that ministers from the ESA member states had agreed to proceed with the first phase of the development program for Vega. The participating members were France, Belgium, the Netherlands, Spain, and Italy. The latter had assumed 55% of the burden for financing the program. By September 1998, it was projected that, if fully funded, Vega would perform its first launch during 2002. However, by early 1998, France was publicly showing displeasure in the program, leading to disputes in its funding. A new, higher performance version of the Vega was proposed, but this failed to sufficiently satisfy France. In September 1999, France decided to withdraw from the Vega program entirely, leading to fears for the future of the launcher. In November 1999, the ESA formally dropped Vega as an endorsed program, a decision which was largely attributed to France's withdrawal. Italy declared that it would proceed regardless, and threatened to redirect its allocated contributions for the further development of the Ariane 5 to meet the shortfall. Around 2000, an alternative use for the Vega was explored as a medium class booster rocket to be used in conjunction with an improved, uprated model of the Ariane 5 heavy launcher. In October 2000, it was announced that France and Italy had settled their year-long dispute over the Vega program. France and Italy agreed to provide 35% and 52%, respectively, of the financing towards the all-composite P-80 booster for the Ariane 5, work which would be included in the Vega program. In March 2001, Fiatavio and the Italian Space Agency formed a new company, European Launch Vehicle (ELV), to assume responsibility for the majority of development work on the Vega program. By 2003, there was concerns that the ESA's recent adoption of the Russian Soyuz launcher would directly compete with the in-development Vega. Demands for such launches had declined with a downturn in the mobile telecommunications satellite market and doubts over the European Galileo satellite navigation system. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Program launch. In March 2003, contracts for development of the Vega launcher were signed by the ESA and Centre National d'Etudes Spatiales (CNES), the French Space Agency. Italy provided 65% of funding, while six additional nations contributed the remainder. In May 2004, it was reported that a contract was signed between commercial operator Arianespace and prime contractor ELV to perform vehicle integration at Kourou, French Guiana. 
In November 2004, construction commenced upon a new dedicated launch pad for the Vega launcher at Koru. This included a bunker and a self propelled structure to assist assembly of the stages. This site was built over the original launch pad for the retired Ariane 1 launcher. In September 2005, the successful completion of key tests on the Vega's solid rocket motor igniters, a key milestone, was reported. In November 2005, the ESA declared its desire for the development and deployment of an electric propulsion powered module to work in conjunction with the Vega launcher. This envisioned module would transfer payloads between low Earth orbit and a geostationary orbit. During November 2005, it was reported that both Israel and India had shown formal interest in the Vega program. In December 2005, the Vega launcher, along with the Ariane and Soyuz launches, were endorsed as the recognized first choice platforms for ESA payloads. On the 19th of December 2005, the first test firing of the Vega's third stage was completed successfully at Salto di Quira, Sardinia. For several years, further tests would be conducted at the Sardinia site. Progress on Vega was delayed by the failure of one such test of the third stage on the 28th of March 2007. During January 2007, the ESA announced that the agency was studying the use of Global Positioning System (GPS) navigation in order to support launches of the Vega and Ariane. At the 2009 Paris Air Show, it was revealed that the adoption of more cost-effective engine to replace the upper stages of the Vega have been postponed due to a failure to reduce the overall costs of the launcher, making it much less worthwhile to pursue. Despite this finding, efforts to improve the efficiency of the third stage continued. At this point, the certification of all four stages of the Vega launch was anticipated to be achieved prior to the end of 2009, while the maiden launch itself was scheduled to take place during 2010. The first flight was intended to be flown with a scientific payload, rather than a dummy placeholder, but had intentionally avoided a costly commercial satellite. By late 2010, the maiden flight had been delayed into 2011. Topic. Into flight During October 2011, all major components of the first Vega rocket departed Avio's Colferro facility, near Rome, by sea for Kourou. At this point, the first launch was anticipated to occur during December 2011 or January 2012. During early January 2012, it was reported that the launch date would slip into the following month. On 13 February 2012, the maiden launch of the Vega rocket occurred for Kourou. It was reported as being an apparently perfect flight. During mid-2011, it was postulated that an evolved Europeanized upgrade of the Vega rocket could be developed in the medium to long-term future. Following the successful maiden launch, various improvements for the Vega were postulated. The German Aerospace Center DLR, was reportedly enthusiastic on the prospects of developing a European alternative to the Vega's final, fourth stage, however, it was widely believed that there should be no change to Vega hardware for roughly 10 years in order to consolidate operations and avoid unnecessary costs early on. The ESA was also keen to take advantage of potential commonalities between the Vega and the proposed Ariane 6 heavy launcher. Following on from the maiden launch, a further four flights were used to conduct it under the vestiges of the VERTA program, Vega Research and Technology Accompaniment, during which observation or scientific payloads were orbited while validating and readying the Vega rocket for more lucrative commercial operations. The second launch, performed on 6 May 2012, which followed a considerably more demanding flight profile and carried the type's first commercial payload, was also successful. In the aftermath of this second launch, the ESA declared the Vega rocket to be fully functional. Since entering commercial service, Arian Space markets Vega as a launch system tailored for missions to polar and sun synchronous orbits. During its qualification flight, Vega placed its main payload of 386.8 kg, the LARI satellite, into a circular orbit at the altitude of 1,450 km with an inclination of 69.5 degrees. Topic. Led up to first launch Enrico Saggis, at that time head of the Italian Space Agency, suggested in October 2008 that the first flight of Vega might be delayed, stating, "...we have to decide if we want to wait until we have another program," and referring to plans to have German participation to develop new third and fourth stages. In 2009 the first launch of the system was anticipated to take place in November 2010, later press suggested that the launch would slip to early 2012, until ESA publicized the launch for end of January 2012. <laughs> <laughs> Specifications Topic Stages Topic Payload 
Arianespace had indicated that the Vega launcher is able to carry 1,500 kg 3, pounds to a circular polar orbit at an altitude of 700 km 430 miles. .The payload fairing of the Vega was designed and is manufactured by RUAG Space of Switzerland. It has a diameter of 2.6 m, a height of 7.8 m and a mass of 400 kg. Three solid motor stages The first three stages are solid propellant engines produced by Avio, that is prime contractor for the Vega launcher through its company ELV. Each of the three engine types intended for the three stages of the Vega had to be commissioned with two test firings, one for design evaluation and one in the final flight configuration. Topic P80 the P-80 is the first stage of Vega, its name is derived from the design phase propellant weight of 80 tons that was later increased to 88 tons. The P-80 includes a thrust vector control TVC system, developed and made in Belgium by SABCA, consisting of two electromechanical actuators that operate a movable nozzle with flexible joint using lithium-ion batteries. The 3 m diameter case is composed of graphite epoxy filament wound case and low-density rubber is used for the internal insulation. The nozzle is made of light low-cost carbon phenolic material, a consumable casing is used for the igniter. The solid propellant loaded has low binder content and high aluminium percentage HTPB The first test firing of the P-80 engine took place on 30 November 2006 in Kourou, and the test was concluded successfully. The second test firing of the P-80 first stage engine took place on 4 December 2007 in Kourou. Delivering a mean thrust of 190 tons over 111 seconds, the engine's behavior was in line with predictions. The future version of the stage, P120C, also with its name derived from the design phase propellant weight of 120 tons, will increase the propellant mass to 141 to 143 tons. Topic: <laughs> Zephyro 23 the development of the Zephyro motor was initiated by Avio, partially funded by the company and partially funded by a contract from the Italian Space Agency. A Zephyro 23 forms the second stage of Vega. Its carbon epoxy case is filament wound and its carbon phenolic nozzle includes a carbon carbon throat insert. The propellant loading is 23 tons. The Zephyro 23 second stage engine was first fired on the 26th of June 2006 at Salto di Quira. This test was successful. The second test firing of the Zephyro 23 second stage engine took place on the 27th of March 2008 also at Salto di Quira. This successful test qualified the rocket engine. Topic: <laughs> Zephyro 9. The first engine completed was Zephyro 9, the third stage engine. The first test firing was carried out on 20 December 2005, at the Salto di Quira Interforce Test Range, on the Mediterranean coast in southeast Sardinia. The test was a complete success. After a critical design review based on the completed first test firings, the second test firing of the Zephyro 9 took place at Salto di Quira on 28 March 2007. After 35 seconds, there was a sudden drop in the motor's internal pressure, leading to an increased combustion time. No public information is available for this sudden drop of internal pressure, and whether any flaws were present in the motor's design. On 23 October 2008, an enhanced version of the Zephyro 9 with a modified nozzle design, the Zephyro 9A, was successfully tested. On 28 April 2009, the final qualification test firing of Zephyro 9A took place at the Salto di Quira Interforce Test Range in Sardinia, Italy. Attitude Vernier Upper Module, AVUM The Attitude Vernier Upper Module often, AVUM Upper Stage, developed by Avio, has been designed to place the payload in the required orbit and to perform roll and attitude control functions. The AVUM consists of two modules, AVUM Propulsion Module and AVUM Avionics Module the propulsion module uses a Rode 843 rocket engine liquid fuel rocket burning pressure fed UDMH and nitrogen tetroxide as propellants. The AVUM avionics module contains the main components of the avionics subsystem of the vehicle. Topic: Launch statistics. Topic: Launch history. The maiden flight occurred on the 13th of February 2012.
Topic: Planned launches. Topic: Costs. Development's costs for the Vega rocket were €710 million, Euros, with ESA spending an additional €400 million Euros to sponsor five development flights between 2012 and 2014. Commercial launch costs have been estimated at €32 million Euros including Arian Space's marketing and service costs or €25 million Euros for a rocket alone, assuming launch rate of two per year. By increasing flight rate up to four per year's price of an each individual launch vehicle will drop to €22 million. Euros. Our belief is that we can charge up to 20% more per launch than our biggest competitors and still win business because of the value we provide at the Space Center here and with Arian Space. Topic: <laughs> Future developments. Vega Consolidated Vega C evolution of standard Vega. P120C is first stage replacing P80. Zephyro 40 is second stage replacing Zephyro 23. First launch expected in 2020. Vega Evolution Vega e Evolution of Vega C. Mira AVOKBKHA Krunishev Progra Kuznetsov Cryogenic Locks Liquid Methane Upper Stage replacing both Zephyro 9 and AVUM. First launch expected in 2024. There was a concept study for a new medium size launcher based on Vega and Ariane 5 elements. This launcher would use an Ariane 5 P230 first stage, a Vega P80 second stage and an Ariane 5 third stage using either storable or cryogenic fuel. The future upgraded Vega Lyra program has exceeded the feasibility study and is planned to replace the current third and fourth stages with a single low-cost LOX liquid methane stage with a new guidance system. The purpose of the program is to upgrade the performance by about 30% without significant price increase. On the 14th of February 2012, one day after the successful first launch of Vega, the German Space Agency moved to be included in the program. Johann Dietrich Werner, at that time head of the German Aerospace Agency DLR, said Germany wanted to join the project. Germany would provide a replacement for the Rode 843 engine on the AVUM fourth stage, currently made in Ukraine. The Vega launcher manager stated that it will not fly in the near future because it takes some time to develop, but he confirmed it will be on agenda in the next meeting of ministers in late 2012. That way, all components of the rocket would be built inside the EU, excluding the Swiss-made ones. The revised Vega C first stage, renamed P120C Common, has been selected as booster for the first stage of the next generation Ariane 6 rocket at the ESA Council meeting at ministerial level in December 2014. AVO is also considering a Vega light that would emit the first stage of either the Vega C or Vega E and would be targeted at replenishing satellite constellations. The vehicle would be capable of launching between 250 to 300 kg or 400 to 500 kg depending on whether it was derived from a Vega C or Vega E respectively. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Comparable rockets. Delta 2 7420 Epsilon Minotaur IV Minotaur C Rocket Soyuz 21V Topic See also Solid rocket P120 rocket stage Comparison of orbital launches families Comparison of orbital launch systems equals equals notes